Hello, in this video we're going to compute the cosecant of 3 pi over 4. Let's work through it. Solution. So the cosecant of 3 pi over 4, this is the same as 1 over the sine of 3 pi over 4. This is equal to 1 over and you just have to know what the sine of 3 pi over 4 is. If you know about the unit circle, you know that on the unit circle, every ordered pair has the form cosine theta comma sine theta. And the unit circle, the angles that have the fours in them, so like pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, these are the easy angles. I call these the easy angles uh, because they're easier to memorize. And this is 7 pi over 4, and this one here would be 5 pi over 4. Well, the sine of pi over 4 is equal to the square root of 2 over 2, and so is the cosine of pi over 4. The cosine of pi over 4 is also equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So on the unit circle, every ordered pair is cosine comma sine. And so at these four points, the x coordinate and the y coordinate will always be square root of 2 over 2, or it'll be negative square root of 2 over 2. So we just have to think about sine of 3 pi over 4. You see the pi over 4 you know, in, the, in this fraction. You say, oh, it's, it's right here. OK. And sine's the y coordinate. Oh, so it's positive. So it's square root of 2 over 2. So using that trick, you can get all of them, right? Like, oh, what's the cosine of 5 pi over 4? Oh, it's going to be negative because the x coordinate is negative, so negative root 2 over 2. So you can just get all of them for all these special angles uh, with this little idea. So 1 divided by this is really 1 times the reciprocal, so this will be 2 root 2. You basically just flip it because it's 1 times 2 over root 2 which is 2 over root 2. And that would be the answer. You could rationalize your answer. Uh, what that means is you have to get rid of the square root. So this is the answer. But you could instead multiply by root 2 over root 2. And this will get rid of the square root. Watch. 2 times root 2 is 2 root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is just 2. Boom. So you just get the square root of 2. So this is another acceptable answer. So 2 square root of 2 or just square root of 2. Both of these are the same. So either of these is good. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Good luck.